Hello, this is Bern, and if you'd like to understand what are three lies that destroy women's chances at finding deep love, well, stick around, because I'll be sharing them with you on my episode today. Hello, this is Bern. Welcome to your great life TV.com. Today is another edition of Get the Love You Crave, and I will be sharing with you today three lies that destroy women's chances of experiencing deep love. Now, I am referring to right now the situation where a woman is in an abusive relationship, whether it's emotional, physical, both. Uh, it's, it's an unhealthy relationship, it's a codependent relationship, and for whatever reason she can't get out, typically there are one or three of these lies present in her mind or from him to her that prevent her from moving forward, stepping away, and creating a much more healthy relationship with herself and with somebody else. The first lie is, no one will love you like I do. Here you have a guy who's being emotionally abusive sometimes, physically abusive even, and the passion in some moments is great, and he confuses that passion, that intensity, and that abuse into deep love. And he claims, as he tells her that no one will love her like he does, that if he leaves her, then she's basically screwed, right? And sometimes women confuse that intensity with love. And they say, well, this feels so intense that, yeah, no one will love me this way. And it's a complete crock of shit. It's absolutely not true. It's true that no one will love you in an abusive way, that's true. It's true that no one will love you in a manipulative way, maybe the way that this guy's been loving you, but it's not true that the guy, that you can't find another guy who loves you in a respectful, passionate, and amazing way. So don't ever believe that. When somebody says that, it's typically a manipulation. If he's loving you that way, he doesn't have to say it, right? Number two is, if you really love me, you would stay. If you really love me, you really appreciate me, then you would stay. If you leave, that means that you, you were faking all the time, right? You weren't really loving me. It was bullshit. Uh, that's another lie. Why? Because you can love someone without necessarily being with someone, right? When somebody says to another human being, I love you unconditionally, it doesn't mean I'll stay with you unconditionally. So if you really love me, you would stay is also a lie. If you really love someone, but you love yourself more, and the situation is abusive or the situation is painful without any resolution, then staying with him is showing you a lack of love, showing him a lack of love. Why? Because you're not loving yourself. And if you can't love yourself, you can't love anyone else. That's the truth. Number three, you, uh, you're blowing this event. You're blowing this thing out of proportion. Now, granted that sometimes when you get into an emotional state of anxiety or fear or just extreme excitement, you might see things in a more, I don't know, just you, you might blow things out of proportion. But typically when this lie slash line is used is when something really needs to be paid attention to. Like you found a text message that's absolutely inappropriate on his phone and then he's telling you that you're blowing it out of proportion. <laughs> or you, he is... Um, dismissive to you in public in a way that's incredibly rude and almost abusive and then he says you're blowing it out of proportion because you're so upset that it happened. So uh, I think that if you find yourself in a relationship that you know in your heart of hearts has to end but don't end it because you think that one of those things is true, I'm going to ask you to really think deep about what I mentioned today and to really question if it's true that no one will love you the way he loves you, if it's really true that you would stay there all the time if you really loved him, and if it's true that you're blowing this out of proportion. If those things are not true, then you probably know what you have to do. Hope this is helpful, useful, and insightful. If it is, I'm asking you right now to do three things. Number one, click like on this video. Number two, subscribe to my channel. Number three, on the description of this video, or somewhere on your screen, you'll see a link that allows you to sign up to a free video that will allow you to learn a method of finding your soulmate, a blueprint to find your soulmate uh, in an easier way than you have before. All you have to do is click on the link below. Uh, it will take you to a page where you'll see a yellow bar. Click on that bar, enter your name, uh, name and email, and then you'll start watching the video immediately. Thank you so much for connecting with me, and as always, I challenge you to live a full and a conscious life.